Hello and welcome to Infinity. When we take a picture here, the first thing I always to do is look at the histogram, including look at where the red, green and blue things are. You can see here there's a bit of space up here unused, but it's different for red, green and blue, and it's there's a bit down here as well. So if I go to the adjustments, and the easy way to do this is to go to levels, and you get the same histogram here, it's a bit clearer. The simple way it often to do is bring the black level up to the end of the white and the white then down there to the end of the white there, maybe bring it in a little bit here. And this certainly brightens up the picture if you see, look at before and after here because it's letting more through, it's using the full histogram. But where to put that end point? Do we put that at the end of the blue or whatever? So one approach to this, if I just reset this, is to go the, to the drop down here and do it separately for red, green and blue. This will have some effect on changing the colour, but as you'll see it's actually not so bad. So if I bring this in, that means the reds are fully unsaturated. And if I bring this in here to the tip of the reds here, notice here, as I bring this in, it seems to be knocking some out here, but it appears up here, we can see it there. So if I bring that out a bit, I'll get that extra red in there and it's probably somewhere down here because it's in that very sort of light area. And the, whether you bring it or not is entirely up to you. But if we look now, say, at the green, this is quite different. So there's a clear edge to the green here and a clear edge to the green here. And then also if I go to blue, I can bring this in here and in here and there we go we've got the blue like the other colors going from fully desaturated and stopping when it's fully saturated so now we've got a much stronger picture from here to here so that's somewhat nicer and a way to make sure that red green and blue are fully included if it doesn't look right then you can do it just in the luminosity but this is just one way to do this so let's have a look at another picture now and we'll see with this that we might need to do something slightly different. So I go down to adjustments and to levels again and bring this down to red. Well, that's pretty much all the way up there, isn't it? And this, this goes right to the ed, edge there. Green, I can bring this down here and up to here. And to blue. This is going to bring this in here and in here. So there's a fair amount of movement on it. But if I look at the picture here with before and after, it actually doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Perhaps I'd like to bring more of this up here. So another way to do this is instead of to using levels, using curves. You get the same effect, but with the additional strength that you can bring with curves itself. So again, here from RGB, I go down to red and now I can bring this in a little bit here. Maybe I should leave it because it's going all the way to the end there. But what do I want to do with reds? Well, if I go one way, it goes red. So if I go the other way, it's going to bring in cyan. So maybe I'm going to put the reds, just try putting the reds up a bit in the lights, which are down here. And for the cyan is slightly darker. So we're going to bring that down a little bit. So that's for the, for the sky there. Oh, maybe would you want it lighter? No, just bring it down a little bit. So we've got this light here pulled up. Now then let's go to the greens. And greens, if I go greens upwards, well, first of all, let's take that off and do it to the end here. Get it right. There we go. To the end there and to the end there. And see that vertical line helps you align it quite nicely there. So that's brought this up now. And now what do I want to do? If I bring this up, I get a bit more green in the in the grass there. But do I want that amount of green in the sky? Well, the opposite, opposite is magenta. So if I bring this down up here, I'm going to get a bit more magenta in the lighter areas, which are in the sky. So that gives me a bit more colour up there. And then blue, again, bring this in to the edges if I want to just fill that up there and then for the blue I can bring it upwards for blue downwards for yellow and I'll bring it 
Where do I need that? Because I want to take into account of the of this as well. So I'm going to bring the top end down slightly and the bottom here, which is where the blues are, bring the blues up. This so this is more mid-tones. That's bring the, that up more. So look at the difference now between before and after. It's got a bit more strength in here. I can always go back again always to things like the red here and say maybe I'll just bring this up a bit more here and a bit more here so I can go back and adjust things to get the right amount of brightness maybe go to the blue and put a bit more up here to get a bit more of the yellow is it down to get the yellows and get it down a little bit for the yellow so in other words, play to get the amount of colour in, in the right places that you want it to be. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.